Alrighty, it is time. Let's do this. New game. Select a scenario. Oh, there's like different, I guess, levels or games to play in here? We'll just pick normal, of course. Start from the prologue. I have no idea what's going on, so we're definitely going to start with the prologue. Confirm. That sound effect sounds so familiar. I don't know where I know it from. This game contains scenes and imagery that some players may not be able to read this entire message. Basically, it could be disturbing. Scenario illustration by Sen. I think that's the developer. Was this like a one-man project kind of game? Echo, I do think the Deadly Premonition games can both be bought physical on Switch. They called it something else, though. I don't know if it was like Deadly Premonitions Origins, or it had like a slightly different name. I like the soundtrack in this game. I, I was listening to a little bit of it to find a song for the intro scene, and I was digging what I was hearing. I kind of see foreshadowing happening here. Got some evil looking book. It looks like a... I don't know if that's a dead body in the background or some kind of like doll? I don't know. <laughs> I could see why, right? I could see that. I do want to play the Deadly Premonition games on stream sometime, but they are very long. But man, those games, they, they seem right up my alley. Like it's a very big spot in my back catalog that I feel like I'm missing. I love Twin Peaks, so I know I'm going to enjoy Deadly Premonition. Bold move game, put all your credits at the beginning. <laughs> but when you don't have a thousand people, you could do that. Mad author. That sounds how I would play the piano when I was a kid. Testing things out. Mountainous outskirts of Germany, the Drevis residence. Father? Father, are you in there? Father. Hey, yeah. How many times have I told you not to come down here? Sorry, Father. But, um, I'm too scared to sleep on my own. Hey, yeah. Am I saying that right? Hey, yeah. I, yeah. Don't worry. You're never alone. Your late mother is always there at your side. Ah, yeah. Okay, thank you. She's always watching over you, Aya. Yeah. Okay? Now please, get to bed. Yes, father. Good girl. They have like a torch sconce in their house. This is, they said it was in Germany, they live in a castle. Father, tomorrow's? Yes, the anniversary of her death. We'll visit her grave together. Okay. Now, back to bed, please. I'll be resting too shortly. Yes, father. I love all the story we just got in that little conversation. That was cool. <laughs> Stop. Uh-oh. No. Ah. Help. Help. What's going on? Was that a chainsaw? Followed by like an electric, electric guitar? I know father's secret. Oh, with, with dad making that noise? My father is a scientist. He loves research and is always locked up in the lab in the basement. And I've always heard things about that lab. Animals and human screams. Even at a young age, I knew what my father was doing. <laughs> this is fine. This is totally fine. So I pretended I wasn't looking. 
that I didn't know or hear anything. Yeah, I noticed I missed that right there. <laughs> Feigned ignorance the whole time. Because I love father. It's not the only secret I know. When mom and I weren't around, he and his helper... Helper, huh? Oh dear god. A fine sample. <laughs> yeah, I pretend not to see it, right? This is the helper. I shall dispose of the remaining materials myself. That can wait. Come, oh, Maria. Hunter? Hunter. Oh. They're gonna play doctor? The mistress is aware of our relationship. Hmm? What does it matter? I don't believe she's fond of me. That is the problem. The girl will be 11 soon. It's troublesome age, to be sure. But be kind to her, please. Ensure that she never comes to harm. She shall always be my most precious. Precious. <laughs> it's a dating sim. <laughs> Whoa. Briefly saw a face flash on the screen. <laughs> okay, I hope it's not a dating sim. <laughs> what a dark dating sim. I go, I love this. You are not ready for this, sir. It's midnight. Today's the day mom went to heaven. Mom. Teddy bear, we got a bunny corner. Now that I'm thinking about mom, I can't get to sleep. So funny, we were just talking about when you can't go to sleep. Mission, explore the room. So when there's a question mark, that we can like interact with it. I don't think I can fall asleep. Your favorite doll. Oh, well, that's not creepy at all. The doll I got from father. It's so old and worn. Clock is so loud, I couldn't sleep in there. Ah, oh, flashback time. I brought you a present, Aya. Yay, it's a doll. Thank you, Father. She looks so much younger there, doesn't she? <laughs> when it pops up there, I thought it was about to talk. What a pretty doll. It's almost like it's alive. Almost. <laughs> Wait, right, and who do I choose for what? In a dating sim? I mean, I guess I'd go with the unknown nurse in this case. A plain dresser. The red-nosed stranger. Oh, that's a book. Huh? Oh, something fell out. What's this? Got gem. Got milk. Got gem. Tip. Gems are hidden in various places. Some require special events to get. You can see your gem count in the menu. Find them all and something might happen. Now, is that, wait, what did I say? Did I not say red-eyed? Um, is this like a collectible just for the, purpose of collecting that kind of makes me think you need it for like a story thing did i say red nose <laughs> i got christmas on the mind apparently yeah red eyed stranger did i say red nose stranger definitely I'm thinking about christmas a portrait of mom oh cute mom oh what should i do mom i do love father but she scares me she's always Looking at me with those eyes. Oh, that's creepy. She's talking about the helper. I hate her. But I know father likes her. If father and her got married, I guess she would be my new mom. I don't want her to be my mom. I don't need a new mom. There's only one mom in the world for me. Why did you have to go? Hey, I got an achievement for that. <laughs> Pennywise the Red Nose Stranger. That would be great. They all float down here. 
Snowball the Pet Rabbit. That's a cute name. What's that? The room feels cold all of a sudden. Kind of scared. Get back to bed. We are done exploring the room, apparently. Snowball is sleeping soundly. I mean, I'm tempted to, like, go outside, but I guess we won't. Good night. Oh, like those extra scenarios, maybe. I think we're dreaming. Or it's a flashback. You sing so well, Aya. Oh, I like that song. Can I turn around now, Father? Just a moment. Just put this here. Yes, it's finished. Aw, he made like a little flower hat for us. A flower crown. Does it look good on me? Yes, I think it suits you well. Yay! Thank you, Father. Oh, here comes Mom. I'm sorry I can't always play with you. Father. It's alright. I'm glad we could finally play today, Father. Oh my, how unusual. You two were playing? Mom! Look, Father made me a flower crown. That's wonderful. It looks great on you, Aya. So you played with him all day? What? Where have you been, Mom? You didn't realize what was going on with your daughter? Yeah. We should do this again, Father. <laughs> she just assumed my child ran away. Yes, we should. Next time, your mother should join in. Well, I look forward to it. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. Just another fit. <laughs> just, just, it's nothing. It's fine. It's fine. Don't push yourself if you're not feeling well. Come get some medicine from Maria. It should help you get better. That's the, the helper, Maria, right? No, I can get that myself. She does not like Maria. Mom, are you hurt? You're okay, right? Sorry to worry you. I'm perfectly fine. Don't look so anxious, please. Aya, yeah. your smile keeps me going best of all. I can't see you smiling. It only makes me worry. But you didn't know where your kid was all day. Mom! <laughs> Relentless always trust a Maria. What you get there? Okay. Now, let's get back for dinner. I made sirloin steak tonight. Your favorite, Aya. Hooray! I love Mom's steaks. Right, Father? <laughs> of course. She makes the best steaks in the world. Oh, that was cute. It's not going to say cute for long, is it? <laughs> How could you not? Got gem? Got milk? I mean, I don't know if they even use that ad campaign anymore. I don't think so, but I just remember tons of Got Milk commercials when I was a kid. We were so happy then. There was Maria too, but even so, the three of us were a happy family. But then mom passed away from illness. And all that happiness we just had. Oh, we're back in a room. Is it morning? I hope. Do we sleep? <laughs> the hell was that? Perfect timing. Nice. And Sheely, what's up, dude? You woke up randomly and you can't go back to sleep. The universe wants me to keep my viewing streak. Hey, I mean, universe, I appreciate the assist, but let our friend Sheely sleep. How's it going, Sheely? It's great to see you, dude. I'm sorry you can't sleep, though. Neither can our protagonist. What? That scream. Could that have been father? Something must have happened. I'll go check on father. Sounds like something terrible happened. Moms always have mysterious illnesses. That's like kind of a, I don't know if that's an anime trope, but I've definitely seen it in a lot of video games. Uh, Relentless. Nice Phantasma. That would be really cool. Well, I mean, you need a break from the TIE Fighter. Work on that crochet project. Okay, new mission, I'm guessing. Go check on Father. 
bad feeling. Yeah, me too. Oh, you haven't actually started it. Never mind, Fantastic. What the? Oh, the light just went out. What is that noise? What? Whoa. Holy cow. That's creepy. No, don't. We're, we're dreaming, right? This way. Who's that? Somebody's trying to help us. Come this way. Is, is there somebody there? Keep running. Somebody in our house, we had no idea. Who are you? This way. But who are you? Stay with me. Holy crap. Said this way. I liked you better at that side profile. It looked a lot better. No. I mean, he's less creepy than the other things. <laughs> Back to our room. Who's that? Where are we? Everybody just broke into our house. Many interesting books in this room over here. Do you like books, my dear? Who are you? Oh, no need to be wary. I'm merely a salesman. Salesman? Call me Ogre. <laughs> I love that name. I hope to get to know you, young lady. Yeah, stranger danger, get the hell out of there. But well, it's quite troublesome to think that corpses wander the mansion. Corpses? Those monsters back there? They're like creatures from a story. Why would monsters like that suddenly... Well, it's a curse. What you saw were the corpses of your father's test subject. Overcome with anger, those deceased have been brought back by the power of a curse. To take revenge on your father, of course. What? I have to save him. Why is that? Because it's our dad? Toward his own ends, he has killed countless people as part of his experiments. This is his retribution. You must have realized by now your father's true nature. And yet you wish to save him. <laughs> yes, see ya. I'll take the monsters over you. My, my. Yeah, your dad does kind of suck, I Perhaps she cannot yet understand their suffering. Yeah, that looks like the red-eyed stranger. 100% Bambi. Oh, Aiko, so you remember playing the original version, I'm guessing. So you're seeing some new stuff with the remaster? You're going to go play some VR, hopefully, and not perish when I return back to chat or I gave up on the game. Oh, hopefully you don't get sick right in. Enjoy your game. What are you going to be playing, by the way? There's another game that features this dude. Oh, from the same creator, I'm guessing, Relentless. And you're doing a, but weirdly, you started intermittent fasting in an attempt to lose weight, and you've been able to follow through so far, Sheely. That's awesome. You just woke up feeling hungry, and I can't eat until 9.30 a.m., that is the worst. That is the worst. North, how's it going, North? Long time. Yeah, I think this game got remastered in 2016, I believe. And the game originally came out in 2012. So it's been a while. But yeah, a lot of people are seeing the remaster for the first time. That guy totally had red eyes. That's pretty cool. Okay, I have to go save Father. We're meeting so many new characters. A, a crow? Tips. Talk to crows to save your current progress through the story. There are game-ending traps abound in this abnormal mansion. Oh god, we're going to need the death counter, are we? So be sure to save regularly. Done and done. You know what? Those sound effects kind of remind me of Resident Evil. I think that's where... We have to get to Father's lab. It won't even let me try that door. Oh, no worries at all, Sheely. Yeah, I don't know. Intermittent fasting isn't for me. I like to eat. Just graze all day. For me, I just got to watch what I... <laughs> right, Arthur? Yay, death counter! I think this game's definitely going to need one. So there's like 
Is that a room? I guess that is a room. There's two ways to check. Kind of pushing me in the right direction. Oh god! Dull. I, I don't know if I don't know if I got it in time. I had no idea this game has quick time events. I stepped on it. Oh, I don't think I did it correctly. What is this doing here? When a red fog covers a screen, it means a quick time event has begun. Oh, that's a good hint. Okay. You must press the buttons displayed on screen within the time limit. If you fail, it may result in a game over. Also, for the first time, I'm trying out this new Xbox D-pad. It'll focus. It's this weird geometric shape thing, but pretty cool. I'm, I'm digging it so far. I'm not sure if I'll prefer it for this kind of game. This might be better for fighting games where you have to do like rotations and stuff, but I'll, I'll try it out for this game. Wolverine, how are you doing? It's great to see you. <laughs> What's going on? The Nine Tiles. That's a good name for it, Raiden. Okay, I probably failed that first one. Okay, its neck is twisted. It must have snapped when you stepped on it. We heard a weird like, neck snapping sound when we entered this room. Yeah, it won't really let us explore anywhere. Yeah, yeah, you definitely don't starve yourself, but it's to keep your metabolism going like really hard when you're like haven't had a chance to eat for a while, Sheely. It makes sense. I just don't think I'd like to, you know, limit myself during certain hours. It would be good for me. What is this pile of dolls? A pile of discarded dolls blocks the way. This wasn't here when I came down earlier. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the game's cute, Wolverine. There might be some cute instances, but I think it's going to be pretty creepy. I can't get through here. I need to think of a way to get to Father's lap. Find a way to proceed underground. I love that they give you a mission. Whoa! <laughs> that creepy, almost twisted off head doll just like walked out of here. Why was that doll moving? Is that part of the curse too? This curse sucks. Well, dolls, John. I know, I know. That's my problem, Phantasma. I love snacking at night. Which, that's one thing that, um... Oh god, we're in the kitchen now. That's one thing intermittent fasting helps with, is... You limit so many hours, you don't get to snack right before you go to sleep. Is that a... Is that a dog? It has a question mark, but it's not letting me press the button. Oh, we have a gem. That's right, we can look at our item. Current mission. Our record. <laughs> Continues use. This game has its own death counter. I love it. Oh, crap. Nobody here. Is this like a stealth section? I'm hoping the dog, like... Goes back to what it was doing. Okay, so far it's not coming after me. That's good. Got some firewood. Sweet. Looks like there could be something underneath this rug. Hey, did we find a way to go underground? You just have coffee and energy drinks instead of snacks? Wait, right before bed, Wolverine? You're crazy. <laughs> and you used to take medicine right before bed that would drop your blood sugar to like nothing? So you're always snacking. That makes sense. You needed to replenish. During the pandemic, you went from 200 to 250, Sheely, largely because you were stuck in the house full of food. I was doing that when I was working from home. When I'm at work, I don't have access to the kitchen. Uh, trying to do reverse that habit by only eating from 9.30 to 5.30. That's a good idea, Sheely. I'm curious to see how it works in months and months, how long you keep it up. It's, it's pitch black. Can't go down there. Okay, so we need a light source to go down there. Um, I'm scared to go anywhere near that dog thing. 
Okay, it's back to eating. Can we sneak by it? Gem! Got that gem. Okay. It looks like there's a knife behind him. I don't know how close I can get. There's a ravenous dog devouring food. I should stay away. A good idea. <laughs> good idea. Whoa. This place is making some creepy noises. I've heard that a lot, Wolverine. Some people, if you've had so much caffeine throughout your life, it doesn't really do anything anymore. You kind of become immune to it. A wooden barricade blocks the way. Okay, we'll probably have to come back with an axe or something to break that down. Oh, that would be crazy, Ico, if it was a pile of corpses before and now it's dolls. So this is a save point. Yes, I'm going to save every time I find one of these. So I still think we need to find... Some kind of light source so we can go underground in that storeroom. She moves really fast. Oh, that's cool. Got gem? Got gem. Oh! What was that? I could have sworn I just saw somebody move back there. Did you guys see that? Or am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> Same with you, Sheely. Caffeine still helps me, but if I get like a Starbucks drink with like, you know, one of the, uh, call it, not a Frappuccino, but like the, the lattes that have like a lot of milk and stuff, the milk slows me down as much as the caffeine helps me. So it's usually kind of a wash. Hmm, I wonder if I should leave those open. I don't know if it makes a difference. Yeah, it's just like a quick zoom. I saw that right, and I don't know what that was all about. Oh, see another gem. Got gem! I got gem! Can they follow me from place to place? <laughs> that was a trap! Jerk game. Okay, we've been in the kitchen. We've been in the cafeteria. Let's see if they're still there. So do we have a health bar? Like, I think they got me a little bit. I don't see any kind of like healing or anything. Ah, crap. Okay. Don't go too far down. It will attack you. The clock has stopped at midnight. There's a lot of dolls. Oh my. Can you stay zoomed in? That was just the game doing that, right? And I didn't have any control of that zoom. I think it was. I think there was actually somebody behind that window. I saw them for a brief second. Yeah, I honestly, Sheely, I rarely have soda unless like I'm mixing rum or something with it. Maybe a Jack and Coke, but I will have um, usually bubblies. That's like, if I'm not gonna have water, I usually have bubblies, which is just water, essentially. Kind of lightly flavored water. The, d the doll father made me. So detailed, it barely seems like a doll. A decorative doll. Jim. I found five. A gorgeous chair. Oh, there's more dolls. Bye. <laughs> Or buble. <laughs> Do you drink a lot of sparkling water, Yuki? It's nice just because it's... I don't feel guilty drinking it, you know. It's, I just literally want some carbonation. Especially, like, right after a meal. Just kind of helps settle your stomach. The archive is locked. You see, this place... This game has a lot of... Check out. I can see uh, that place is, like, walled off. Some comparisons to like Resident Evil or something because it feel like we're in a big mansion. I think we came from this direction, right? Yeah. Give back my daughter. What? I'm guessing 
that was um, some spirit who lost their daughter to our dad's experiments? I don't know. I don't think that was our mom. It's the medicine father takes. That got me. That was so loud. So what kind of medicine does our dad take? I, I mean, I, I, I got it. I was just holding on to it for safekeeping, Relentless. I guess I'll give it back. <laughs> A dial lock safe. It's locked and will open. I don't remember the code to unlock it. Okay, so we have to find a hint for the code. Ah, oh, crap. Give back my daughter. Now look at those eyes. Mission. Spirit and bedroom is looking for her daughter. Yeah, I got that. Just give me that gem. Oh, that's an archive key. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else in here right now. But we have like a little side mission to do. That's cool. You know, right, and maybe it's like a bright moon outside, and with all these windows open, there's just enough light to see around. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm just going to save every time we see one of those, because I feel like this game could kill you any at any moment. A life-size doll. I got to remember I got an archive key. We were just down there not too long ago. I like how that door had question marks. Like, this is your home. Do you not know what's, what that room is? Nutcrackers. Like Christmas. Oh, great. There's blood in this room. There's a doll in that tub. Got Jim. <laughs> Oh, bye. Oh, crap. Um. Dang. <laughs> I was like, oh, do I have to go to the door? But then it kind of blocked me off, so I tried to run away. That didn't work. Okay, continue. Where does it put you? Oh, good. You don't really lose a ton of um, space. Now, I do need to reset the death counter from the last time. Could I have jumped in the tub? That's gross, but it's better than dying. Go ahead and reset that death counter. Where is that? There it is. Set, put it on the screen, add one. There we go. Now I'm gonna move this, I think, because the death counter is like right over a section where the game always puts text, it looks like. So I think I'm gonna take that death counter and move it up just a little bit. Maybe like right here. There we go. At least then it's not covering up the um, text there, especially as it gets bigger, too. Let's see. And you have no idea. You just want to see what the child says when you force her into a tub of blood. You probably can't write in, but I'm, I'm not sure. This is where it came from, right? I think I jumped out of this toilet. <laughs> Just put it right over my boob. Okay, before I grab that thing, can I, I can't interact with the tub at all. So what I'm going to do is grab this and then run for the door. I might get another death. Ah, Jim. Go, 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 go. Yeah, see, that's... <laughs> I mean, if you're really quick, you might survive that. But I think that's going to get most people their first time. Well, that was the Nutcracker. I was like, I don't remember giving you guys that sound effect to play. I think that was the Nutcracker playing that sound. What if we go back here now? Still can't interact with that thing. Okay. Oh, that's creepy. That was the little Nutcracker right there, right? And I wasn't sure what that was to either. All the hats. Oh, so this is all the, like, doll clothing. Dress for a doll. Maria said she's planning to throw this dress out because it's too raggedy. Feels like a waste to me. I mean, that dress is... 
so huge, she could probably wear it. Oh! That's seven years bad luck, right? Just broke a mirror. I love how interactive little things are. That's so cool. <laughs> no worries at all, Raiden. Were you going to play a VR game or did, were you not able to? I remember you mentioned that earlier. And which VR game are you going to try out? How are you doing, dude? This is an RPG Maker game. I think it's one of the better known RPG Maker games. Okay, so we want to go to the archives. Have we already seen that room? That's a cafeteria. Remember if we already passed the archives. I feel like we did. It's the kitchen. Wait, was the archives this area down here? Which we need light to check this out. I missed that text that it said at the end there. Let me just check that. It's pitch back. I can't go down there. Oh, she doesn't know what it is. Okay. <laughs> oh man, Sheely, if that's how you get the bad ending, that would be so sad. Okay, this is where we're blocked by the pile of dolls. Let's go check to the left. It's over here. They have those, like, you know, barriers that you see, like, at a movie theater when they want to make lines or something. The reception room. Oh, save point. The game did a pretty good job where I didn't lose a ton of time when I died, though. I appreciate that. Oh, God. The chair almost got me. <laughs> what the hell? You can push it back. Can't seem to, like, look at it or anything. And the picture moved. A powerfully moving paint. Oh god! Get it off me! Get it off me! Oh, I need to press buttons in the order. Oh dear god. <laughs> Did... What? Did I, did I win? I feel like I say that a lot in this stream. I think we survived. What in the hell was that? There was a little doll with a giant knife on our head. The painting was hiding a cylinder lock safe. I can't open this without the key. We have the archives key, but not the key to this thing yet. Oh, that would be really cool, Iko. Which characters have you uh, cosplayed from these RPG Maker games? Numbers! It has been a while. How are you doing? Hope you had a good Thanksgiving and happy birthday to Andy. Oh, thank you so much, Gumbers. We had a wonderful Thanksgiving and she had a super fun birthday. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving as well. Let's see. So you were going to play Into the Radius, but canceled now because you're too bored to the point you're going to go insane for a ride. <laughs> Let's see, it's regrettable that everyone who uses the engine will end up looking basically the same. It's led to even good games being ignored. I know I've seen a lot of games that have this like visual style right in, but I or Gargareth, but I did play To the Moon, which also RPG Maker. That game was fantastic. But what the hell just happened? The light went out. I feel like I just heard a voice. Flames burn fiercely. Do not leave a fireplace unattended. <sighs> Can't reach. I like her little sigh. Oh. Hmm. So there must be some other item we can get to get up there. Let's see, you've been busy and tired, but you're glad to be able to pop in. Oh, I'm glad to see you again too, Gumbers. It's been too long. You know, and that's what's kind of interesting about game design, Gargareth, is like a lot of times, you know, the games may have a similar style, but when you got these creators of these like unique, awesome ideas, and they use this engine to make it, you still get good games regardless, you know? Awesome. Dolls in a... What is the most famous game um, 
Yeah, I guess we need this chair. That's a good idea, Yuki. Get this chair to, like, attack me again. I can't seem to, like, pull it. Maybe I need to leave and come back and it'll jump at me. But I wonder what the most famous game like this is. Nice. Good idea, Yuki. Okay, we have an old key. Doesn't really give us any hints as to what it might be for, but let's try it here. Do I have to go into my menu to do that? Item. Old key. Ah, that is how you use stuff. Sweet. If I remember right, this knife is a memento from great-grandfather. It might be useful for something. Should be fine to borrow it, right? So we just got a dagger. Sweet. Oh my goodness. This game does not pause. I think this is the pause screen. <laughs> Let's just leave it there. Artho with the subscription for nine months. Thank you so much, Artho. I appreciate that, dude. Let me drop some more tokens in there for you guys. Nine months already. Jeez. It is so scary how quickly this year has gone by. Like, I can't believe Christmas is like in just four weeks away. It's insane. Are you guys, have you started shopping already? Are you getting caught up? Oh my lord. Thank you again so much, Artho. Undertale. That's probably the most famous game. That's a good call, Sheely. That's right. And you cosplayed as at IB with friends. So you were IB. Your friends were Mary and Gary. And you were meeting Jack Septicai, Mark Kaplier, Bob, and Wade in 2015. And it's so cool. I go, and you went to Japan. What a hell of a year. Oh, so it wasn't actually RPG Maker, but based on the looser version of the engine. So it's it's got some roots in it, I guess, Gargareth, but not necessarily made directly in RPG Maker. Oh, that is awesome, Yuki. You already done with your Christmas shopping? I've started. I'm probably like 60% complete. Like, if I had to guess. Here. Put it back on the game. Why do I hear another song going, John? It's because you're a dumbass and you didn't change your source back to the game. So you're hearing your video's background sound. I just walked out of the room. You haven't missed anything. Okay, we haven't checked this room yet either. An Everhood. I don't think I've heard of that one. Wait. No, we, we came this way. We went from the other direction. That's right. Oh, Gumbers, thank you so much for the lurk, dude. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, did they get stuck? Oh, no, they're not stuck. They're just waiting for me. Okay. So as soon as I go down too far south, they attack me. What if I just keep going down that hallway? Is, is there a door there? Nope. Is there a map in this game? I don't think so. Okay, I want to try going to the left. Like all the way, oh, I guess there's no door there. It's so creepy. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for archives. We found our dad's bedroom. That's our bedroom. Oh, that weird guy is gone. We haven't been, been back in our bedroom since that all happened. Snowball is relaxing. You can take Snowball along? Like, what purpose would that have? I'm scared I'm going to lose it. Let's confirm choice. Pet Snowball. Oh, Pet Snowball. Stay here. You're safe here. Aiko, you still got to get the men's gifts. No offense, but men are so hard to buy for in your family. I don't want nothing. Get out of here with that. <laughs> I mean, I always create like a Christmas list, but Andy and I, when we give each other Christmas lists, it's like get a little bit off of there, but like usually we know each other what we're interested in so much, we can find like some unique stuff. 
Like, I don't even need Andy's Christmas list. I'm practically done shopping for her. I haven't even seen it yet. But when I do eventually get it, I'll probably get some stuff off of there, of course. There's a dead cat inside. Is that what that red-eyed stranger did? What the hell? Now let's close that. That was uncalled for a game. So that's a nursery. Have I gone this way? We did. Whoa! Did you just trip me? <laughs> I love that sound effect. I swear she just tripped me. And she just laughed. <laughs> That's great. We should probably save it again. Okay, I don't really have a light source yet. In our inventory, we have a dagger. We have firewood. Oh, maybe I can use firewood... I feel like I'm just gonna not do anything super useful, but we could probably use it in that fireplace that we saw, right? Which was over here? In this room, I think? Oh, the fire is out. Maybe it wasn't that one. Maybe it was in one of the bedrooms over here. I know we just saw a fireplace going not too long ago. <laughs> that does make it pretty easy, Phantasma. I've got... The way I usually do gifts is my wife, my parents, my siblings and I, we all kind of do a lottery and we pick names. So I get something for one of them and then I get gifts for all my nieces and nephews. So mostly for kids. That door's locked still. We can't do that one, right? Well, we do have a key. We could try it. Is this the archive room? Nope, it doesn't fit. Okay. Well, had to give it a shot. Whoa. Did that doll just get its throat slit? A life-size doll that looks just as if it were a real corpse. Thanks, game. I hate it. I had no idea things were going to be changing as I just kind of repeat areas. Maybe the fire was over here. In this room. Oh, this is the archives. Have I not been in this room? I could have sworn we were in here before. There we go. Oh, we have not been in here. I'm going to 100% save it. I see. Come back with a hammer, see if she'll be laughing then, right? <laughs> we'll teach her. <laughs> Dang dolls. <laughs> Andy hates dolls, too. Have you ever seen that horror movie, Dead Silence? It's basically about, like, haunted dolls. It's pretty creepy. It's not, like, the best horror movie. Whoa. But it's got some good scares. That's that red-eyed stranger, isn't it? Disappeared. Interesting. Data on live experimentation. Oh, we saw that <gasps> creepy picture in the intro. <laughs> I love it. I go, somebody else got tripped and they were not too happy about it. There's something stuck in here. A code memo. That's probably for that uh, lock that we saw upstairs. Nothing else interesting? Oh, God. Mama! Mama! Oh, no, it hurts! Help me! Help! I can't help you. Whoa. I want to go home. I want to see Mama. Oh, this is so sad. This kid was tortured. And now we're seeing its spirit. Don't worry. I shall take you to her once this is all over. No, I want to go now. Mama! Mama! Don't fret. Everything will be fine. We just want to test this medicine. It may hurt a bit, but not to worry. You'll soon feel such relief. 
No, Mama, stop. 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 I don't want this. So we're like seeing the ghost's memories. It's much better than my voice acting. Whoa, deck that kid. And turn it into a gem. Got gem. No, got pendant. What? What do I remember that from? I think it's like Super Mario Sunshine or something. It always says like, get shine whenever you get one. Like, kind of poor English, you know? Like, you got a shine or, you know, picked up shine. Just get shine. Kind of what that reminds me of a little bit. Oh, that could be that one lady's kid. Good call, Relentless. Yes. Annabelle. I don't know if I've seen Annabelle. Hey, I think I did Ico, but I might be confusing it with The Conjuring, which also had a little bit of Annabelle in it. Can I, like, look at that pendant? A pendant found in the archives. It's swaying back and forth as if searching for someone. I'm not sure what we would use the pendant for, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's right. She wanted, like, an item, perhaps. Or she wanted her daughter. That would make sense. You could give her a pendant because it might have belonged to her daughter. That's the closest that we can do to giving her her daughter back. Old books on the occult. Diary. Oh, dear Lord. Zari Zinth. Is that a date? This is a nightmare. How could this have happened? Kill the bird. Just like... The rest of the pages are unreadable. Screw that. Data on live experimentation. I looked at that before. Another old diary. <laughs> Out of context, Relentless. That's a good one. Knowing the game and you need to be completely silent, it makes more sense. Humans are beautiful, but that beauty soon fades. That is the law of this world, but I have overturned After years of research, I have found eternal beauty. A body that will never fade even in death. A body as fresh as if it was in life. They have eternal beauty within their grasp. Oops, I think I screwed that up. I just pressed A. It looked like I can hit next. There we go. As we lose believers year by year, our group stands on the brink of extinction. My body, too, is nearing its limit. I must find a successor as soon as possible. Flame Egg. Huh? Oh, I remember this book. There's a girl who has this mysterious power to control fire. Oh, you mean... Firestarter by Stephen King? And she goes on a journey to find the family she's been separated from, proclaiming... Burn all those in my way. He did exactly that to all her foes. But I think in the end, her power got out of control and destroyed the world. So she never met her family in the end. It was all alone, all. <laughs> Relentless. <laughs> the, the one brain cell also comes this way as well. Good minds. Brilliant minds think alike. A poor girl all alone. Yeah, like you right now. Yeah, I think I read Firestarter when I was really young, but I don't remember much about it. But I think I saw the movie as well. Didn't it have the Drew Barrymore? Like, post-ET, I think? She was still really young. If I lose father, I'll be all alone too. I don't want it. I have to save father quick. We don't even know if that was your dad screaming. Burn all those in my way. <gasps> yeah, I can burn it. But I'll need something to start a fire with. I think there was a part in the flame egg about making a torch to start a fire. I'll check the book again. Okay, gather materials to make a torch. Well, we do have firewood. That could be the first step. I think we got everything here. But she did say she was going to check the book again. There we go. That the girl cut her tattered dress with a knife, made a rag, and wrapped it around firewood. Finally, she tied the rag on with wire to create a torch. So, we need wire, but we should be able to cut 
Oh, no, that one dress that we saw earlier on the mannequin. We have to go back to that and use our knife. Okay. So I think all we're doing is missing the wire. Now we're saving it. And you hate kids in horror mainly because you don't want to see a kid die. It's the same with animals. I go, Andy and animals dying in movies? That's almost like a, I'm out, we're done watching this kind of scenario. <laughs> and the adults usually deserve it or do something stupid to put them in a bad situation. So too bad for them. Exactly. A lot of times horror movies actually have you rooting against the characters because they're just so dumb. Oh, hi. Oh, I scared it. I wasn't sure if that was bad or good or what that was. Okay, so we have a few things to do. Um, I, I suppose we should start making that torch. So in the doll room, is this where that dress was? No. I don't remember where that dress was. I think it was on this side. Changing room? Yeah, this is probably it. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our knife right here. Dagger. Line it up just right. Yeah, because they say it's too raggedy, so we might as well cut it up, right? There we go. We got cloth. What about the dagger? I know I tore it up, but nobody should get mad, right? Whoa! I like those little jump scares. That's cool. Wait, can I not get the dagger back? I think that was like a one-time use thing. Okay, so how do we combine items? I use firewood. I don't have all the materials to use this. Okay, once you have everything, it just works. So we still need a wire. Looks like there's five hats. Interesting observation. Wonder why she's saying that. <laughs> Although Ico, like in horror movies specifically, if the characters made smart decisions, there'd be no horror movie at all. It would survive and get out of the danger and it'll all be over. Oh god! I thought we were done with that. That was cool. He's still looking for a wire. I just want to make sure there's nothing I missed. That was pretty cool. We still can't get in here. Oh, the code memo. So we should go find that safe. Maybe we'll find the wire in there. That was in our dad's bedroom, right? That's upstairs and to the right. I at least remember that much. Oh, just saw her disappear too. Oh, maybe that note I found has a hint. I actually have to use the note first. Okay. Oh no! Okay, we got a puzzle. Okay, we have to find the number of chandeliers in the entrance hall, the change room hats. We That was five. Minus bathroom planters. I don't know how many there were there. Red dolls in the doll room. Barrels in the cafeteria. At least I know where all these things are. That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, I, I, I am proving them right. But it also makes it more entertaining. Okay, so let's uh, check out the chandeliers in the main hall. Unfortunately, we get attacked. I think there's just four, right? There's just four. This is cool, though. You get to, like, jot it down. It's so, like, it's going to remember that. So now we go to the change room. I'm assuming it's going to remember that number. So, wait, change room hats minus bathroom planters. Okay, so hats was five. Now I know why she kept saying it. Looks like there's five hats. 
Enters in the bathroom. That's the room I just get attacked in, right? Where was the bathroom? I think it was right next to the change room. One, two, three. We got three planters. So it's one. Four minus three. Okay, next, red dolls in the doll room. I think that was upstairs. Was it five? Oh, my, oh, five hats. I was thinking four like the chandeliers. Thank you, Yuki. Still on a previous clue. You're totally right. So, oops. Let me go to the doll room. Is it? Yes. Okay, and I think it said number of red dolls. Yes, okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, that's the tricky part. If you don't actually open this up, you could totally miss those extra two. I think the answer is eight. That's a cool little puzzle. I like that. Barrels in the cafeteria. Cafeteria was right over here. Starting to get the lay of the land just a little bit. Let's save it too. I love how fast the saving is in this game. Barrels. I don't see any barrels. This is no longer the cafeteria, this is the kitchen. Is it still considered the cafeteria? Because if it is, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I see nine barrels in the kitchen. Technically don't see any barrels in the cafeteria. So I, it could be nine or it could be zero. I mean, I'd be kind of surprised if it was nine, although I think as far as the game's concerned, it's kitchen. But we'll try nine. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay, so then we need to go upstairs back to the code room. And it was four two four two eight nine. Four four two eight zero. Oh, it actually plugs it in for you. That's cool. That does not seem to be the right code. Okay, let's change it to zero. It was zero. Tricky game. Wow. It contains mom's belongings. I can smell mom's scent. There's a lamp in here. It's pretty dark, so it'd be nice to have a light. Just borrowing this, Mom. How long do scents survive? Like, it's been a year since she passed away, right? We Now we can go downstairs in that area. Mom's perfume. I think, maybe. Flashback time. Yeah, so it was zero, Relentless. There was no barrels in the cafeteria. There was nine barrels in the kitchen. But it was kind of a trick question. There was technically none in the actual cafeteria. Even though they're connected. It was like a separate room. Uh, is he still at work? Gosh, what are you going to walk into? The view, Maria. Doctor. Uh-oh. They're having some quality time in there. Father? Oh, Mom, check this out. Hurry. Oh, yeah. There you are. Doesn't your father always tell you not to go into the basement? Mom? I knew it. He's cheating on me with her. I can't believe this. Some girl he picked up off the street. That stupid thing. Oh, was that her wedding ring? What was that? 
<laughs> you can never do that again. Mom's usually so nice, but that day she was like a different person. As anybody would be. <laughs> I'm looking respectfully. This perfume. Put it, oh, that's what she threw was a perfume. I put it back on her dresser after that, but... So she took care of it. That's good. Hey, Raiden, welcome back. Did you get to play some of that game? After all, Mom get this from Father on their anniversary. I'll take it as a good luck charm. All right, Mom? I wonder what we're going to need perfume for. Did it crash right in? You having problems running it? Is my guess. Okay, so she's like appearing right here. Let's see if we can give the ghost mom the pendant of her daughter. Bang. Bang that right there. How about here? There we go. This is her pendant. There she is. Um, that's creepy. Polina. Sweet. Mission clear. Spirit in bedroom looking for daughter. Let's see. If something isn't washed or used a lot, you would think the scents last a while, I go. Although in our case, mom found some of grandma's old clothes and it still had her perfume. Mom, or made your mom break down pretty bad. Dang. That is incredible that scents can last that long, Aiko. That's really cool. Gem. 7 out of 20. Not too bad. Oh, there's something here. Looks like. Is that another pendant? I can't interact with it. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Oh, that's probably the pendant that we just gave the mom, right? She can't obviously take it for real. So it runs fine. You're having a problem with the motion sickness? Oh, yes. And now with VR, are, I'm guessing you keep going with that, right? Right in the little by little? Because eventually I hear if you're prone to motion sickness in VR, you can get your VR legs. Kind of getting your sea legs once you get used to it. It doesn't happen as bad. North. That was really sweet, wasn't it? Okay, so... What do we got next? We got a lamp. Can we use the lamp? Wait. Oh, it's under key items. An electric lamp and has a stylish antique design. I'm thinking we can just use that to go downstairs from the kitchen. So let's try that out. I've only had one game in VR that ever made me a little nauseous. And it was when I was first trying VR back in 2016 on the PlayStation VR when I first got it. I was playing this robot game where you're like of out on like different planets and asteroids and stuff and you could jump like one to the other and your gravity changed so you might be like here like this is your legs and then you jump up onto like the ceiling and now your legs are like this so that shifting of your perspective doing that made me a little bit nauseous but i did it a few times and eventually it went away and i was fine so i'm hoping we can go down here with the light Yikes, it's pitch black oh the lamp there we go I already see a ghost or something there. Oh, it just disappeared. I love how they do that. A hole in the wall. I couldn't fit in there. Doorhouse. Let's check this. The objects inside are blocking the door. Well, alrighty then. So, what was the point of coming down here? We can't fit through the hole. We can't knock through the door. Supposed to light that sconce on fire? I don't think so. <laughs> Poor Raiden. You love the game and the game loves killing you. Okay. Oh! A pear or potato just attacked me. There's something here. Oh, a container full of oil. Can we dip the cloth in that? You don't have all the materials to use this. Okay, not quite. We still need wire. Okay, we 
haven't checked this area out for a little bit. There's that wooden barricade. Where are we going to find a wire? Yeah, definitely like pick specific games I code to kind of get used to VR. Some will make you less sick than others. I don't want to get too close. Hmm, now I couldn't find wires that way. Okay, what else do we have? The only thing I could think of is we just need the wire now. But that'll make a torch. And I guess we can use it to start other fires. But like, I don't really know what our purpose is for that yet. We can burn these dolls out of the way. I do see all these sconces, though, that are not lit. I wonder if we can light those up. Right now, we're just kind of exploring, making sure we haven't missed any major items. I feel like I did miss something. I wonder if I can use anything with this fire. Can't push that chair out of the way. Once it's there, it's there forever. Oh, that's interesting, Ico. What are you playing it on? Are you playing it on console or are you playing it on a PC? That's true, Yuki. I completely forgot about Snowball. Oh, God. It's like I wanted to protect Snowball, but we might need Snowball like an item or something, right? Oh, that's clever. I didn't even think about putting Snowball in that hole. All right, Snowball, we need you to open up a door for us. Snowball loves Father too, don't you? Of course Snowball would want Snowball. Uh-oh, flashback. Snowball, where are you? And when your legs hurt too, what do I do? Oh, legs seems to be working just fine. Snowball. Where did you get to? I was so worried when you disappeared. I couldn't wrap up that wound with you running around. Wait, huh? Your wound's healed? Whew, what a troublesome rabbit. Father! Ah, yeah. Try not to let Snowball out of your sight, will you? The rabbit made a mess of the kitchen. Sorry, Father. Snowball must have been trying to get a bite of Maria's cooking again, huh? Did you find Snowball, Father? Yes, and I fixed up that leg while I was at it. Good thing Father's around, huh, Snowball? Thank you, Father. Snowball's part of the family, treated as well as any other. I have a sneaking suspicion that Snowball is no longer the same Snowball it was before Father came back. <laughs> if he, like, fixed the leg, you think it'd be bandaged or wrapped up or something? Maybe that's part of dinner. And here's another snowball, or he used it for experiments or something. Just a guess. I don't know if they were trying to hint at that. <laughs> Yuki, if Snowball doll dies, I take no responsibility. He did give me the idea. Let's go save Father together. You're thinking that too, North? This guy, hmm, how did you fix up that rabbit so fast? Same rabbit. Have you all seen The Prestige? It's... I don't want to say any spoilers. It's not like a major spoiler or anything, but uh, it's about a couple magicians kind of uh, competing against each other. And one of them does this trick where he takes a rabbit or not a rabbit, a bird in like a bird cage, flattens a bird cage and then pulls out the bird like it's miraculously there. One kid starts crying hysterically, thinking the bird's dead. Right. And it's like, no, he's fine. He's right here. He's ma It's magic, you know, and the little kid says, but where's his brother? Is the kid smart? <laughs> he knows the bird didn't teleport from the cage to his hand. That's a different bird. He actually did smash that bird. This made me think of that rabbit thing. Maybe that's the rabbit's brother. If you're playing on PS4, you have to adjust stuff 
naturally already, but for some reason the bright flashes here and there and the camera shake during certain bosses are pretty disorienting. You know what the bummer, Ico, is sometimes those games don't give you enough options to like smooth out the camera, you know? I never really have a problem with that, but I could see if you didn't have the option to do that. That's that would be terrible. Okay, so we just got the bunny back. We're taking it back downstairs. I'm trying to think of where that was. In the kitchen. That's right. Go to the kitchen. And downstairs. If you have never seen The Prestige, I highly recommend it. I love that movie. It's got um, Christian Bale and Hugh Jackman. And they're the two magicians going against each other. We got Batman versus Wolverine. What more do you want? Okay, so let's try to use Snowball. Please, Snowball. Good idea, Iko. Oh, I get to control Snowball. This is awesome. Didn't like that. Got wire. Hey, collected all the materials. No, 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 no. I just want to look in the wine barrel. I, I, I guess we're okay. This game is so cursed. <laughs> I'm just going to go. Are we even the same rabbit anymore? <laughs> oh no, the light went out. Our lamp. Get the hell out of there. Why won't it work? Please. Is someone behind me? They did a really good job of like with their limited budget and stuff. Of like giving you good scares and good environmental stuff. I like that. Is someone behind me? Just imagining it. Come on, Snowball. You couldn't have unlocked the door for me? I don't remember too much blocking the door. So if I look in our inventory, we do have the wire. Okay, so do I just combine all this now? Torch. So now our mission is to light it. Um, my guess is we need to go to that working fireplace and light that. Oh god, Margareth, any horror game in VR would be scary. Although you can play every game in VR. It won't necessarily be 3D, but like, if I tried to fire this up in my VR headset, it would be like I'm in, sitting in front of like a, you know, 500 inch movie theater screen. There's different ways you can do it, but it's fun to act like you're playing in a movie theater. It looks huge, so it'd still be very encapsulating and creepy. Um, I think it's been here. That's the fireplace. It's off. I think it's the doll room. Somewhere near there. I always forget which room has the fire going. Maybe it's one of the bedrooms. See that room. Yeah, when you're in VR, first person makes a lot of sense. Although some great VR games are not first person. This is our dad's bedroom now. There's no fireplace in there. Definitely not one in our room. Maybe it was on this side. Can't get in there yet. Changing room? gonna be the last room I check even though I've been through this area like 10 times reception there we go okay so let's try lighting our torch in this fire don't worry about that at all right and you take care dude have a good one so it's not burning well the cloth needs to be soaked in oil mm. Where would the oil be? Well, it's in the kitchen. We saw it before. Okay. That's a piece of cake. And you're loving the story and you see why people didn't like it, but the psychological games or games with puzzle storylines keep me interested. It's the same, Ico. My favorite horror games are always the psychological ones. I love Resident Evil. 
but I do slightly prefer um, Silent Hill, which has always been much more psychological than like monster jump scare kind of horror. Super freeze your room. You're doing that on purpose, right? Right, and you want it to be cold. So the oil was right here. Let's try using our torch. <laughs> Yuki, that is very true. I guess when I think in my mind when I say it's the last room, I mean I'm going to check every single other possible room, and the last one I look at, that last one possible is the correct one. <laughs> that's how it usually feels like to me. But no, that's true. The last one you check is always the correct one, because you, you stop looking. And you got a Starbase prototype all done, Gargareth. Um, you got experience... Uh, a large space battle from the point of view of a command. Wait, what is this in? Is this a, a VR thing you were talking about, Gargareth? Um, order the forces on the big globe. Watch things strafe the station while you're standing in. Let's see, and a monster isn't scary if you can run one room and be ignored. Yeah, it's very tricky to keep a game being scary. Give the player just enough agency but make them feel very vulnerable, but not like invincible or helpless. Cause either one of those is just too much one way or the other. <laughs> Why do you even give me this option? I better not, that's dangerous. Yeah, we're gonna light the torch. It is absolutely dangerous. Okay, torch is lit. Now head to underground lab. Whoa, what the hell happened here? Do, as I say, Dean Bata Mordor? I don't think that's English. Is that like, uh, what do you call it? Latin or something? Hey, okay. still have this big pile of dolls. Can we burn this pile? Yes! Oh god, it's a nuclear explosion. It burns, it burns. It hurts, help me. Oh my gosh, were they all alive? Were there live people in there? <laughs> yeah, probably, Iko, that's true. Kids think they can do everything on their own. Let's see, your father murders. Oh, is that what it says? In Latin, Relentless? Nice job. Oh god, Gargareth, that'd be terrifying. <laughs> oh, the spider lady. That was really creepy. I remember her. I hated her scream, Aiko. She was super creepy. A suit-covered drum that smells of burnt oil. Is that why that thing caught on fire so fast? A nuclear explosion. No, now I feel bad about the dolls. Gee. Or was it German? Okay, well, that makes sense. Um, they said this is in Germany. I forgot all about that. Remember. Tools for experiments. Eerie objects stuffed into bottles. <laughs> baby around here. Oh, God. A two-headed baby. One that looks like it has a big cut in his chest. You know, those eyeball jawers are weird. I think that's going to have something to do with a puzzle. Whoa. Just dropped. Got a bottle of eyeballs. Wonderful. It's just what I always wanted. Oh, I think I heard the save bird. Sweet. Excellent. <laughs> Let's see, you love when games have a safe room, like Resident Evil or something? You put that in quotes, because personally you love it when the game destroys your only safe haven when you're not there. Some games do that, where they make you feel like you have a safe spot, and then they wreck it, or they put something there just to change up the game. So they did change it to cor from corpses to dolls, Ico. That's interesting. I wonder, I mean, there are a lot of dolls in the game, so I guess that makes sense, but... 
I wonder why the change. Oh! Is that Maria? Maria! Mistress! You're wounded! Ah, but I will be fine. Forget me. Escape somewhere safe. It is dangerous here. Yeah, it is. Forsaken Kraken, how are you doing, dude? Welcome back. I am fantastic. Had a good Thanksgiving break. How was your weekend? Where's father? I heard him scream from my room. Right. I must save the doctor. <laughs> Looks like she got wrecked. You can't go on like that. But, Maria, what happened to father? The doctor is further. His wife. She. Wife? Our mom? Yeah, his wife? My mom? What do you mean, Maria? Our mom's been dead for a year. Maria. Or the ghost got him. Ah, there we go. My, it seems she's passed out. You again. Oh, this guy. I didn't even see him in the corner there. Deeper into the underground maze. What did Maria see? Mom passed away, right? What's going on here? Oh, she didn't say what happened to Father uh, North. Uh, she just said that Father's like further in the laboratory somewhere. It's something about our mom, so I'm assuming the spirit of our mom like attacked her. Don't tell me the curse affected her too. You'll only be able to confirm your suspicions by pressing on, won't you? Why you gotta be so mysterious, dude? <laughs> what a weird guy. So explore the underground maze and save father. Oh no, is this gonna be a maze? And Resident Evil 2 remake did that so well. Oh, I loved the remake so much, Ico. It might be my favorite Resident Evil game, I'm not sure. And they banged on the door. That was pretty sweet, right? And I remember that. So you actually went out of town and went to a Renaissance fair the day after Thanksgiving. That sounds like so much fun. Did you have a good time? I haven't been to a Ren fair since probably like 2018 or something. It's been a number of years. But Ren fairs can be so much fun. It's good to get some mead, some arrows. I don't usually dress up for it, but I just have a good time. There's really nothing to explore in here. See anything. Okay. I guess we just have to follow this weird guy. Father! Oh, wow. That wasn't much of a maze. It's our mom. I recognize those anywhere from the picture. Mom? Is that you, mom? Wait! No way. Was that really mom? No way I mistook her. That was mom. So even mom is. It must be the curse, right? So all the spirits of everybody he's ever done wrong is here right now attacking. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Sneaky. This tragedy was brought by the power of a woman's curse. The malice towards your father. That malice transformed into a curse, seeking out your father's death. Could that woman be... So you do realize, yes, your mother. That can't be right. Why do you think that? Because mom loved father. She even understood his work. And he loved her back. Mom wasn't... Ha or wasn't mom happy? Couldn't believe she has a grudge against father. Maybe mom didn't like father being with Maria. I don't want it to be true, but yeah, that was obvious, I thought. So you'll go find the truth? <laughs> I didn't even do that. She just did it on her own. Oh yeah, she's going to go find it. Does mom hate father? Oh dang, Forsaken, that's awesome. You even wore a kilt? I've never worn a kilt before. That's rad. Let's see. You're always in a hurry because you never had ammo. That's how I always feel in Resident Evil, right? And 
So that can't be right. She promised she'd love dad. Oh, this looks like that doll room we were in before, but they're all like, like corpses, like they're covered up. It's, there's a head looking for a body in the mortuary. All right, Aya, like, do you not notice that your dad has done some weird... Look at that corpse just stood up. That's so cool. There. I love that. Maybe they're all going to stand up and we have to try to find which one has the body for this head. Maybe that was the only one. That was neat, though. Yes, I've heard that, Iko. Hell hath no fury as a woman scorned. Oh, there's a body. Um, hey, buddy, come get your body. Can I, like, lure it over here? Hey, there we go. Found it. Big Smith is... Is that the... The dude we saw before, I think he had yellow hair. Sweet. Gem get. Got gem. <laughs> I don't remember how long it took me to finish Resident Evil 3. It was shorter than I expected, but it wasn't like too short. Oh, you have a good one, Forsaken. Thank you so much for dropping in, dude. Get some good rest. Oh, that's really fast, right? And nice. When I stream a game, I always expect to go like almost twice what a regular gameplay is. Just from breaks and chatting with you guys, stuff like that. We've already found eight of the gems we need. That's not bad. I'm guessing that's the total amount of gems in the game. There's somebody without eyes back there crying. Kind of looks like Sailor Moon. The door is firmly shut. No, we're not going to finish it tonight, Yuki, but I think it's a pretty short game. Um, believe like a full playthrough is around like three to four hours, maybe. So we'll definitely finish it next stream because next stream is an extra long stream. Unless I get totally stuck, you never know. He can't see anything. That man took away my eyes. Oh, this is a living person. This is not a doll. I think. Help girl who lost her eyes. Wouldn't you know, I happen to have a jar of eyeballs. She's looking for eyes. Do I just, like, try using it right here? Garlic and onion. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. All right, let's try using this here. The eyes have it. Um, I have some eyes here. What a weird thing to say. Are these yours? I was thinking they were like from those babies that were right next to them. I don't think she can hear me. Crap, so we have to get in there and toss them in ourselves. Ew. Six hours for Resident Evil 3, Raiden? I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, that's such so weird. Would you like some eyes? Sure. Why not? And Garlic and Onion, are you familiar with this game? Have you played this one before? Like a homeless person? A wooden barricade blocks the way. You get to either one of these sides. I don't have any items that would help, just eyeballs, so we'll keep going up. Save point. Whoa, some creepy little Japanese doll just popped out of that box right there. I saw you. A doll wearing strange clothes. I got the kimono, right? Charm Encyclopedia. Good luck, charms. You want the ones you love to be happy. For this, a good luck charm does the trick. All you need is one thing, and this you must have. It is love. 
kiss someone's forehead with love and say a blessing. Then a spell of good luck will be cast upon them. Isn't that wonderful? Well, that's nice. Are we going to have to use that for something? I know, right? And you have to, like, connect the stem or whatever that's connected to your brain. It'd be very complicated. Surgery. I'd imagine eye implants. It's a very invasive surgery, if that's even possible. Oh, no. Ike, are you getting um, buffering as well? Or what's going on? strong impact could break it. Oh, does that mean we have to push it? A pile of barrels. Destroying them seems dangerous. <laughs> right, and that's a bold move. Are you going to watch any gameplay before to kind of know the tricks, or are you just going to go for it? There's something up there, too, but I can't see that. Oh, there we go. Broke the box. Can't quite tell. It's a chainsaw. <laughs> what? I remember father scolding me for playing with this once. Therapy Android would love this game. It has a chainsaw. Aya, yeah. what are you doing with that? <laughs> Just play with a chainsaw as kids do. Sorry, father. This is no toy. It's a very dangerous tool. Understood? Never play with anything like this again. Sorry, Father. I'm glad you're not hurt. It's odd, though. I thought I put it away somewhere that was out of your reach. Where on earth did you find this, Aya? Sorry. Sorry, Father. Ah, smart girl. She didn't tell her, him her secrets. Ugh. Ah, no more dad to tell us no. Got the mini chainsaw. Holy cow, are we going to use this like a weapon or something? Whenever you have the chainsaw, you can press the special button to activate it. Um, that chainsaw icon indicates chainsaw is usable. Use the chainsaw when facing certain objects, barrels, empty crates, to destroy them. You cannot attack enemies with it. Okay. So, see? Oh, there we go. There's something I could destroy with this chainsaw and the rope I just climbed up. I'm thinking of these barrels, right? Jim. Of course I have to check every single one of these. These ones we can't destroy because she says it would be dangerous. Man, I couldn't even imagine accidentally speedrunning a game right in. But I always kind of like to take my time, I guess. And we can destroy these barricades. Oh, that takes us out here. Nice. Okay, there's a shortcut to get back. That's a fantastic question, Relentless. Why can't we chainsaw enemies? There used to be a ravenous dog right here. We could chainsaw that. Really? You can't take that knife? I could have sworn when we first saw that knife we were going to have to get past the dog and try to take it. Okay. So now the question is, where are all the different places we saw a wooden barricade that was blocking us? Oh. oh. Welcome back, Miss... the hell are all you? <laughs> it dropped your arm. I can't even talk to them anymore. That's weird. She didn't have anything to say about that. She's just like, yeah, it's normal. It's normal. I didn't mind it. I mean, I thought, like, obviously the acting Ico in Resident Evil 3 across the board in the remake was better. And I think it was probably more of a character in the remake than he was in the original. I did play them both back to back, but I kind of have to like watch some replays to kind of remember the nuances 
of how they treated each character differently, but I, I honestly really like the, the remake. My biggest problem with the remake is more of a gameplay problem. In Resident Evil 2 remake, they had that Mr. X, and he would walk around and chase you all over the mansion, and it seemed so dynamic and random. And I assumed that AI or whatever they used for that character was going to go great in Resident Evil 3 with Nemesis. But he hardly did that at all. He would just popped up a few times for like some scripted boss battles. He wasn't like chasing you around the whole map like he does in the original, which I thought was scarier. So I was a little bit disappointed they didn't keep that aspect of the game, but otherwise it was cool. Let's see, I want you to stare deeply into the camera and say to use the item, press the action button. The deepest voice, I don't even know what the deepest voice I can do is. That'd be something I have to practice, but I can say something else in a deep voice, part of our stream. Quality time. That. Would you like us some quality time on this stream? <laughs> I don't know how that sounded. That might have been terrible. Okay. Let's see where else was barricaded. Whoa. What was that flash? I expected those things to like come at me like they usually do, but that was different. That was really weird. A single face popping up. We're also kind of exploring rooms we've been to before because things change, but... See, this would be a great time for a chainsaw when that thing attacks you. I'm just trying to think of where else were there barricades. I know we had barricades before. Why can't we chainsaw the door? Dang it. <laughs> Would have been great. Right in. Mission accomplished. And then there's this poor doll. She died really early on. Okay, so that's our bedroom. That's his bedroom. There wasn't anything there. In the doll room? Oh! That's new. <laughs> Ate that! Bye-bye! <laughs> Strange noise in the second floor west hallway. What is that noise? Almost sounds like something's boiling, or just a rustling noise. It's not going to be in here. We've been there, we kind of did everything there. What's that thing? That's right, they're pushing like a cart or something. <laughs> Man, I used to love Left 4 Dead, right? And I haven't played it in a long time. Have you guys played that new Back 4 Blood game? It seems like it's essentially a new Left 4 Dead game. Spirit. We're going to have to do something with this. Can I hide behind here? Maybe it won't find me here. Aha! There we go. We just had to hide from it. Got gem. Left me a gem. Sweet. <laughs> the crow. The crow does make a little noise right in, but not that loud. Oh god! Oh god! Why? Why? I can't go anywhere. Chainsaw. Nope. I was not meant to survive that. <laughs> oh my lord. You know what? I forgot that I owe you guys tokens for when I die. That's one. And two. This is actually the second time I died. Okay, where are you going to put me? Right here. I couldn't even go backwards. Okay, so got to remember, X is chainsaw. I think I need to chainsaw through those barrels, maybe. Got gem. Can't chainsaw. She can't get to me. She's not smart enough. She's stuck behind that thing. What am I supposed to do here? Can't even like 
look at my inventory. Oh god. Bye. Maybe I just had to outrun her. Okay, she's done now. Oh god, she comes back. So that's my life bar. That's what that is at the top. Okay. That's weird. It used to like swing my chainsaw every time I pressed X. It doesn't do that anymore. Hmm. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, I almost got out. I almost got out. Yeah, I wasn't trying to use it. There's another death. I wasn't trying to use it on the ghost thing. I was trying to use it on the barrels. You, I was thinking, oh, maybe we can carve our way through there to get around. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Well, we got the gem. Maybe that's all we were supposed to do there. True. They probably make it do that noise right there so that I don't even bother trying to do it. That's true. Right, that still stopped at midnight. I'm trying to think of where else we saw one of those uh, wooden barriers. I know we saw more. Just can't think of where. We're back in our dad's laboratory. She's still asleep. Great. Nice catch, Gargareth. <laughs> we cannot kill an entity that does not exist, right, Raiden? At least not with the chainsaw. Maybe we could exercise it with the Ghostbusters. Sweet, we're at 11 gems, though. Pretty good. be cool if we could have chainsaw through this but there is another door behind her i think we might need to come from that side no we gotta get her lost eyes hmm. it feels like it gives me the mission every time i talk to her Oh, these rooms! That's right, I forgot about this. There we go. Flame retardant. No idea what we need that for. We have to walk through the fires. Oh, heading for bed for the night. Need to get at least three hours of sleep to balance out before work. Three hours, Iko? I can go on very little sleep, but not three hours. I usually need at least five, five and a half. You are a trooper. You get some good sleep, Aiko. Thank you so much for joining us. And it looks like the girl from the witch's house over here. Right there. I was going to say, I thought there's like some kind of homeless dude. Is that Pigpen from Peanuts? Like the dirt cloud and like flies all around him? The old man mumbles to himself. Curse that youngster. Doing everything the woman says and so deceived as to not realize her true nature. That woman's going to create a demon. He's even crazier than the doctor. Well, whatever. What should I care, I suppose? Was that like a warning to me, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Gotta find a treadmill, Gargareth. It looks like there's a gem or something up there. I can't quite reach it. He always says the same thing. Oh, like literally exercising the demons. I get you. <laughs> you guys have treadmills or anything like that? We have a, an elliptical, but not a treadmill. Let me go ahead and save it again. I didn't need to click on that. Ah, the rods. <laughs> I love how we stick to one of those words, Relentless. If a game has even a slightly naughty word or something that could be 
Construed as naughty? Man, we just hone in on that. We use it everywhere. So I'm just trying to go by the counter for how many hours we have in the game to determine which slot that I save it in. Oh, I missed that ladder, Yuki. That's right. It looked like we can maybe grab it because it's super small. Move ladder limits movement. Oh, maybe I can use it to grab that light that we saw. Excuse me, pig pen. Just trying to get over here. Right behind you. There we go. We got that gem. That's 12. Can we move it again? I think you can only move that ladder once, unfortunately. Celestial Lynn, how are you doing? What's going on? Did you have a good uh, Thanksgiving break? How was your weekend? What you been up to? <laughs> the frog orgy. <laughs> Which is funny, that wasn't even so much from a game arcade, that was from my actual experience at my parents' house when uh, a lot of frogs in the backyard. What happened, Raiden? Oh my goodness. I feel like I should be able to get something up there right now. Oh, you're cleaning and rug doctoring your old house? You got to get it ready for sale. You're selling your house, Gargareth? That's exciting, dude. Are you moving far away? Are you still in town just getting a new house? Or what's happening? Moving this could be super stressful. Hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. I want to check back down here again. It's been a while. You upgraded from 1947 to 1978. You lived in a house that was built in 1947. That is incredible. Um, I wonder if we can chainsaw through this. Nope. I think our house was built in like 2005. Something like that. 2010. Some, somewhere around there. Oh, that's right. Celestial, and I totally forgot. Yours is in October. You been all right, though? Oh, I've been great. I had a lot of food for our Thanksgiving. It was my wife's birthday, so we had a good time with that. Very, very uh, busy, but fun last couple of weeks. Oh my gosh. What happened to that maid that was here? Welcome back, mistress. What happened to your friend? You got stuffed in the, um, the fireplace? I can't even interact with it. So I just uh, won't ask any more questions. We'll just keep on going. <laughs> she was made for dinner. <laughs> That's a perfect quote for them. It's for pretty much any game that we play. Okay, that wraps back around to where we were before. Still trying to get the eyeballs to that girl. I have no idea what we might need flame retardant for yet. We have our chainsaw. We have a lamp. I don't know of any other... Like, wooden um, beams that were blocking us. Notice we don't kill, get attacked by those, like, screaming ghosts anymore right there. It's nice. I like, I like the silence. The new here, I don't think. I guess I should look. What was our current mission? Explore the underground maze to save father. What maze? And help the girl who lost her eyes. I think we should go back to that area. Both of our current missions. The uh, hell? It felt like something grabbed my leg. Oh god! Run away! I'm gonna get dragged away! Uh oh. Button mashing time. I gotta go quick. Oh, if I go too slow, it grabs me. stressful. We got out. We got out. <laughs> That's super cool. I like that. Just for, ra you know, running around randomly, they're going to punish me. Oh, you were doing that first person mod for Resident Evil 3, right? And I haven't tried that out yet. Okay, so... Back to the kitchen, right? 
And then underground, that's where our father's laboratory is. I almost think it kind of put us closer to the exit, Gargara, that assumed, yeah, you want to get the hell out of here, don't you? Oh, that's the storehouse. This way, though. This is like a shortcut, I think, to that underground laboratory. If I remember right. Can't break any of those boxes. <laughs> Yuki, Andy hates that. Like, if we go to, like, Halloween Horror Nights and all these things are jumping out and trying to scare us, I just have this big stupid grin on my face. I'm enjoying it. I'm soaking in the horror. Andy's just, like, holding onto my arm tightly, having a heart attack. How are we going to get you these eyes? The game keeps talking about, like, a maze. However, I don't see any other exits or anything. area part of the maze? Can't talk to that body anymore. I mean, it's an idea, Yuki. Yeah, I can't think of anything that would do, but sometimes you just gotta try things. We got to get to brute forcing, right? I should check every one of these corpses, though. It feels like it could start moving doesn't move at all. Seems like a husk. Creepy. Almost beautiful. Oh, she says the same thing on both sides. Okay, moving no longer. I think it's like random what she says. So no maze there. This goes back the way we came from. I was gonna say, is there like another exit that I missed? Look like it. She's still passed out. Huh? There's something by her feet. Why didn't you notice this before? I've checked her like three times. Got a room key. Are you kidding me? How did I miss that? Haven't I checked her fainted like at least three times? Oh, I bet this goes to that question mark room upstairs. So we didn't miss it. Maybe it just wasn't there. The game planted it on her body later on. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I mean, generally, uh, Yuki, all my streams boil down to that. I just start smashing different objects together until something works. Wait, hold on. There was something there. Oh, it's the barrel. That's right. We looked at that before. You know what the worst game for that was, Gargareth? I really enjoyed the game, but some of those puzzle mechanics... Oh, I see somebody down there by the door. Some of those puzzle mechanics I couldn't stand was um, Black Mirror. They had these puzzles where the game would tell you, come back later. And in my brain, I think, okay, I need to go accomplish more tasks. And once something is accomplished that you're waiting for me to do, then I can come back and talk to you. That wasn't the case. When they said that, they literally mean, meant like come back in 20 minutes. So you just had to go like fart around and even if you didn't accomplish anything, eventually you could do it. It was very confusing. Person looks so sad. Okay, we got to follow him. Go after a man with the sad eyes. This is just where I got attacked. Never played a space quest game, Dark Wrath, which is kind of surprising because I loved King's Quest back in the day. I've never played Space Quest. Oh yeah, he's going to that hidden room. It's locked. Luckily, we just got a room key. Was that the best one? Was that the last one, or did they make more after that? Like, my favorite King's Quest, I think, was always 5 or 6. They did come out with the 7 and 8, but I didn't like them as much. Sweet. Open up the lock. This is the, what would you call it? Mistress's room? Helper's room, I guess. Found a diary. 
this be Maria's diary? So they made six, but it sucked, used a new engine, and lagged horribly. And the puzzles lack the humor of the previous games. Oh, that's a bummer, Gargareth. You hate when they do that. I'm, I, I want to play Gabriel Knight 3 at some point, but from everybody that I've heard from, it's not as good as 1 and 2. But I still have to experience it just because I never played it. Oh, thank you, Raiden. I appreciate it. You have a good night, dude. Zwari Zith. We saw that once before. Doctor, it has been a year to the day since I came to this mansion. I will never forget that day. Oh, she was like a homeless person when the doctor found her. Please, food. Give me food. Somebody. I need food. A vagrant? You could be a fine subject of some work. <laughs> right, and I won't. We'll try your best, but I'll see you next time, dude. It's pitiful to see one so haggard. You have a good one, too, even if you want. Come to my home, please. I'll give you clothes and delicious meals. Don't forget me when I perish. I will avenge you, Raiden. Don't die. What is she munching on? Looks like she has a Thanksgiving dinner all to herself. And now she's in prison. Stay here for a little while. I'll go tell my family about you. Family? I have a wife and a daughter turning seven. I'm sure they would welcome you. Family. Who's that other person? <laughs> God. Was this person taken in when, like I was? What awful injuries. He's in pain. <laughs> yeah, right, Gargar. You should be good for a few days. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. You can't fight God? This is true. I'll do my best. Perhaps I could do something. Oh, she's got like a sewing needle or something in there. Just patch him right up. My skirt won't be enough cloth. But the only other clean cloth I have is... Was she like totally naked now? This is a surprise. Coming from the brink of death, he made significant recovery overnight. It seems he was given excellent treatment. Was she a nurse before she went homeless? Did you treat him? Yes. How handy. You're exceptionally talented. Please, I... It'd be awful to let such a talent go to waste. He's like debating, do I kill this girl for my experiments, or do I use her in other ways? What's your name? Maria. Maria, would you be my assistant? I do not wish to lose you. <laughs> Please stay with me. Well, will you entrust me with the rest of your life? That's a big question to ask somebody. Well, it sounds like you're getting married. Yes. <laughs> I like the first question, will you be my assistant? Not, uh, will you entrust me with the rest of your life? I was so happy. So happy you had saved me. I was alone, but you made me need it. You gave me love. As long as I am needed, I will stay with you. How would I live without you? I love you, Doctor. Aww. <laughs> One hell of a meat. Cute. It's a huge commitment. Oh my lord.
I might already have them, honestly, Gargareth. Um, I'll have to check because I, I buy a lot of the classic games. Even if I've just heard of them, I'll have to check it out. I'll see if I have that or not. But you wouldn't have to buy them for me. It's something I could check out too. Um, I never really knew anything about Maria, after all. Maria must really love Father, too. Yeah, I have so many games in my Steam library. I hardly remember what I have. I actually just recently bought, if you guys like classic adventure games, there's like a LucasArts pack on Steam. I think it was like 2 or $3. And you get the two Indiana Jones adventure games, Loom and The Dig. I've never played any of them. But for that price, how can I not have those in my library? LucasArts did such good adventure games back in the day. Okay, here's a new diary entry. Uh, yesterday, I encountered a young boy. He was adorable and smaller even than the mistress. But the moment he saw me, he ran off crying. Is my face indeed so frightening? The mistress always seems scared of me as well. I suppose it's the eyes. Well, I'm sure that it's the mistress that it's that the mistress dislikes me. It cannot be helped. I did take away the doctor. Surely I could not replace her mother. Once more, the mistress went out to play in the woods nearby. Yet just the other day, she was terrified when a wolf chased her in those woods. That personality of hers strikes me as familiar. The dates are so weird. Zwari Zith. What was that trying to say? <laughs> right, and it's so dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> was Indiana Jones good? I have heard good things about all of them. Um, I remember Loom mentioned in Monkey Island. Secret of Monkey Island is one of my favorite um, adventure games, and they always mention Loom in that. Oh, Full Throttle was so good. Therapy Android requested that game. That was a great one. Never played it until a few months ago on stream. There's a dartboard? That's pretty cool. Alright, I think that was it. Honestly, not a whole lot in that room. <laughs> yeah, just X month and X day. We don't know which one. Solve for X, right? Okay, so we still have the eyeballs to get that girl. I wonder if that changed anything down there. Now that we got Maria's backstory. Maybe we need to talk to Maria. You know what? I wonder if we can go any more this way or if I'm going to get attacked again. Oh no. God, that noise. I have to test it out. So let's go back down to Maria, see if anything changes. It was this way, right? Oh god, why? What did I do? It happened once before. A girl that was in the basement. I can hear her crying. Oh, with the eyeballs! I wonder, is this room connected to that place? I'm so glad I randomly wandered in this room. I'm trying to find my way back down to the basement. So there's got to be some kind of vent or something down here. Dolls in a glass key. Ah, you know, you weren't thinking of the exact right thing, but you had you were on the right track for a different solution, Yuki. We have to put out the fire because that'll probably be a secret passage to get down to where that girl is and give her the eyes. Seriously, Gargareth, it's such a unique game. Honestly, everything Double Fine makes or the old LucasArts adventures, such amazing settings like Grim Fandango, Brutal Legend, Psychonauts, all their games are so unique. Let's just go ahead and use that flame retardant. Well, don't have a bottle of pain pills, Raiden. But if you're in pain, take a couple. <laughs> But yeah, definitely get something to eat. That's important. Oh yeah, we're going to look in this fireplace. C. 
secret passage. You hear a girl weeping from the hole. So I'm guessing drop the eyeballs down there, hope that she can grab them. Smash! Eyeballs everywhere. The girl's crying stopped. What the hell, game? I like accidentally paused to go into the menu there just as it was attacking. That was cool. Didn't mean to freeze in there, but it kind of worked out in our advantage. What is dope sick? I don't think I've I know that one, Gargareth. Of course, right. Yeah, what's up, dude? Oh, man, I haven't played those games since they first came out. I couldn't even tell you the voice lines. Honestly, I don't really remember the... Well, I think I like the old guy in Left 4 Dead 1. What are the characters in Left 4 Dead 2? Um, I usually pick the old guy regardless. I don't know why. <laughs> didn't, didn't really care one way or the other. Well, they did have some funny voice lines. I've kind of forgotten most of it, to be honest. I played through them both. I mean, they're kind of infinitely replayable, but... Where? Way down. It wasn't through the kitchen. Am I forgetting? Oh, wait. Is this it? Here we go. This is it. All right. Still can't talk to her after we found out all of her uh, details. Bill. Okay, Bill, Francis, Louis, and Zoe. Yeah, so I think Bill was the one I usually picked. Now, did Left 4 Dead 2 have like some dude that was always in sunglasses? Or am I thinking of something else? Okay, she should be right behind here. Not crying anymore. She's looking at the bottle of eyeballs. Ew. Oh, she looks totally normal. I can see, I can see. It works just like that, right? <laughs> Although it's like a spirit, right? Or is this actually somebody still alive? Thank you. Oh, that was a spirit. That was a spirit. Sweet, we're at 13 gems already. We have not been back here yet. Nobody in sunglasses. I'm trying to remember what the other character I used to use in number two is. I'd have to like see a screenshot of them to jog my memory. I do think I played more Left 4 Dead 1 than I did 2 though. 2, you were kind of like in the south or something like Florida or Louisiana. And there was like a lot more levels where it was lighter than in Left 4 Dead 1. I felt like Left 4 Dead 1 always took place at night. Oh, Coach. I think I played Coach. That was a real big dude, right, Raiden? I think I played Coach. That name sounds familiar. Oh, solve the looping passage. Huh, didn't I just go downstairs? Okay, so this is going to be the puzzle, but as soon as I walk here, it's just like the one hallway. Oh, there's something here. Um. Whoa, her eyes are huge. Are you keeping me from going ahead? I need to go through here to save my father. So please, let me through. I love how eerie this game is. What can I do to convince you? 
What's going on, Alex? How are you doing, dude? It seems like everybody's played the original version of this game. It's so cool. No one's played the remake, though, I, I think, so far, for the most part. Huh? Oh, is she going to show me the way? Oh, he's part of our party now. Sweet. Are, is she going to help me? Oh, now, now it just keeps on going forever, it looks like. Um, so, Alex, what's your favorite game of this, like, what do you call it? Uh, RPG Maker style game? Why are you following me? Doesn't talk much. <laughs> do you want to go home? Link once for yes, two for no. Do you want to go out? Like, like on a date? Let's see. Come with me. I'll take you outside. Then let me through there, okay? <laughs> this ghost is trapped. We're gonna let the ghost out. So it will let us pass. Or push the barrels. I don't think I can interact with them, but that would be cool. Huh. This place. Wait, I... Are that woman's clothes? What's going on? Oh, I get to play as her. Oh, creepy. The witch's house. Some people were mentioning that earlier. That sounds pretty cool, too. Oh, some of those bodies are gone. <laughs> right, I told you. Dating sim. Whoa. Wait, is that our dad with a chainsaw? Father. Stay still, won't you? Now, shall we begin? What, what's Father doing? Oh yeah, the ghost has like possessed us, right? Let me have those beautiful hands. Not Father, it's me. I can't speak. Oh no. Dad lost it. I thought we were trying to save him. That's cool. Run away! <laughs> Might be a good idea, Alex. <laughs> Especially if it's one of your favorites like that. That'd be cool. Okay, was that... Did we, did we help the ghost? I feel like we just made things worse. Oh my gosh. Now it's bloody everywhere. Not moving at all. Well, I mean, that sucks, but now the ghost can't stop us anymore. Win, win. Ooh, save point. Okay, this is probably, we're already past my bedtime. This is probably a good stopping point. I have a feeling that we're either about to run into our dad or to some really, really dark, creepy stuff. So I think they gave us a save point just at the right time. I'm curious for everybody more familiar with the game, how far do you think we are in the game? Like, are we near like the halfway point? I know it's not supposed to be super long. I think it's maybe what, four hours or so? Maybe five hours with my gameplay. So I'm, I'm assuming we're probably getting close to the halfway point. Give or take a little bit. <laughs> that was our dad. Actually, right. That was our dad. About halfway. Nice for Lemon. Cool. All right. So how do you exit this game? We've only died three times. That's not too bad. I, I don't see a way of quitting this game. Do I just hit escape on the keyboard? That just brings up the options. How do you exit? Is it under help? No, I do like that it has little instructions based on everything we found, though.
can use the chainsaw here. I don't know how to exit this game, guys. Oh! Wait. You have to go to a save point to exit. I didn't even think about that. When you use the bird, you can save, load, and go to the title. Okay. Tricky game. Tricky. So if you want to quit in the middle of a playthrough and you don't want to get to a bird, you just have to Alt F4 to exit out of that game. Which works, but I'm always worried about corrupting a save or something like that. I hate doing that. What an awesome pick, Relentless. I'm really digging this game so far. It's got such an interesting story and cool atmosphere. I'm digging it a lot. It says copyright 2020 Sen. I thought this game came out in like 2016, the remake. Is this like a newer version than even that? I don't know. 